Oh, well, hey, hello there, what's up? Um, and welcome to this video. Um, it's not like anyone's going to watch my video anyway, but um, hey there. Um, there has, I, I have said um, already so many times within just 15 seconds, wow. Well, um, the chasm has not been updated and there's also a new story quest to it, an event quest rather. And in order to unlock that one, you have to complete the world quest so rapid Sretch's seven star seal thund thundering to unlock um, before you can play that. So I'm going to go to that quest. You can see this one is here. I have to talk to Moon Ling. Um, Moon Ling. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? I don't know. Anyways, hello Moon Ling. Um, how are you doing? Actually, I had already. I, I was. I had already started this whole thing a bit. I was. I was already like almost done with his dialogue, but. The thing is, I just realized that my that, that that OBS just said, okay, I'm not going to record, or rather that my bloody not my bloody I mean like my model just said, okay, I'm going to double click, and I thought I was already recording, but in the end I wasn't then, because I accidentally double clicked, which means that the recording started and stopped again. Anyways, I've already talked way too much. Let's go. Hello, Mooning. How are you doing? Let's start this story quest now. This world quest, I mean. 10 crates of meat, 10 crates of vegetables, various amounts of firewood and camping equipment to be given to the Millilith outpost. 3 crates of various ores to be sent to the Hushin Hall warehouse in exchange for spare parts for tools in various amounts. By the way, I'm just going to read all those dialogues uh, myself and I'm going to try to <laughs> maybe give them a bit of a voice that might fit them because um, in world quests there never is a voice, obviously. Not obviously, but there's never, those dialogues are never being voiced. Okay, now continue. Next one. Alright, sorry for making you wait. What do you need? Ah, it's you. Eh? Since when were we all that familiar with you? Okay. Paimon's squeaky high voice? If I try to do that, nah, that's not going to sound nice. But yeah, I'm just going to try to make my voice a bit higher in pitch. Um or give it a higher frequency so that you can hear that it is Paimon's voice. I mean, you are the heroes who saved Liyue, your deeds are remembered by us all. Since you are here at the chasm, you must be here on some important business, in which case I'm sure you must have a permit from Lady Kittering, right? Um, what are you talking about? We don't. Really? I mean, sorry to trouble you. Since you must be very familiar with Lady Ningguang, a permit from her might hold still more weight. Could I see it, please? I don't have that either. Well, we don't have that either. Well, the Lord Tianshu is reclusive yet approachable and also has great vision and the good of the people at heart. Surely he was the one who gave you permission to enter the chasm then? We don't even have any permission in the first place. Do we even need that one? May maybe? <laughs> in that case, could you mind would you mind letting me see your papers? Um huh, I guess you don't have that either. Well Miss Ganyu works at Julian Terrace supporting the cheesing directly, so I'm sure her opinion would be uh, in lockstep with theirs. You at least have her permission, don't you? Um actually, you know what? We could have just asked Ganyu to sign off on this. I can go, uh, go look for her right now. Um, speechless, speechless, I'm also speechless. Um, ha, <laughs> awkward silence. Ah, so you've come at a bad time. This is really not the season to be visiting the chasm. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is still working on an eliminating a great safety hazard within, so this is still very much a danger zone. If you have been commissioned by some merchant to urge us to open the mine faster, then I suggest you read the report I submitted to Shenglu Hall carefully. Uh, what's this person talking about exactly? Could you tell me more about the chasm? Right, so about the chasm. If you don't intend to leave just yet, you are free to explore the area a bit. But please do keep your actions within the remit of Liu's laws and statutes. I should mention though that there is a place that I highly recommend you uh, to avoid. For example, the great mine in the center of the chasm has, a, has had a seven star array cast over it. By which I mean exactly what I say. It is a seal placed over the area by the cheesing. Well, that's quite the clear explanation, I guess. 
As for the weak, I mean focal point of the array, lies in the bedrock keys surrounding the area. These were placed by the cheesing themselves. Connected in series, they affix the energy flowing through the array. Yeah, um, now I also know what those things are. I didn't know. I, I always thought those are like mini statues of Sam or so. I know. But okay, that's, that's nice. The area around the bedrock keys have seen an abnormal amount of geo-elemental coal seams, and it's almost as if the thing beneath yearns to finally emerge. What is that thing that you're talking about? Uh, never mind. I was talking to myself. So yes, that's how things are. Please do not, and I repeat, do not go near the seven star array, and don't even think about going down there to explore. Um... <laughs> You see, I have already been there twice. <laughs> so what now? Ah, never mind. The bedrock keys are definitely not losing structural integrity, and the surrounding areas are most certainly not plagued by any strange geo-elemental convergence. So, convergences, so please don't you think of doing anything at all. Hold on. So please don't you think of doing anything at all. But, hmph, <clears throat> or hmph. <clears throat> I know what you are going to ask. There are most certainly no precious treasures down there, nor are there any prehistoric fossils to be had. And banish any thoughts you have thought giant ancient ruins. Yes, please do not bear any fruitless expect expectations towards this place. Well, I have already collected some stuff from ruins, but okay. <laughs> you say so. The way you are saying all this is super suspicious. Not even mushrooms will grow down there, nor are there wish-granting stones, and there are definitely no sailors who grow strong just by eating mushrooms. Again, do not get your hopes up. Ah, yeah, sure, there's no need to be so fear- Okay, no, okay, no, <laughs> that just sounds ugly. There's no use, there's no need to be so fierce. Um, hold on. Anything else I should look out for? I suggest that you go speak to Zhang Li. Uh, no, not Zhongli. Ji Kyung first. She is an adventurer hired by the ministry and was once a miner here. She knows the chasm's geography like the back of her hand. Also, let me write you a certification real quick. When she sees it, she'll know that you are trustworthy. That said, I must warn you that Ji Kyung is definitely not the sort of person who has trouble standing still and def definitely has no thoughts of undoing the array and having a look underground. So there's no way that she would ever put a team of idle adventurers together to brazen, to brazen the entire haza what? Haz hazardous areas. As such, you can forget about asking her to help you enter the chasm's mines. Uh, yeah. Wakata. What? As long as you understand, we're good. In which case, I won't take up any more of your time. Well, that's better. So you have, That was a five-minute speech or something. What does the note say? Um, hold on, I found this helmet of warding. Unix knows them. Oh. The ministry represents Munich gave you this note. Despite its short length, the words prohibited appears eight times. <laughs> if you give this to an adventurer named Ji Chung, you will receive the aid you need. I see. Well, then, uh, let's go. With the wings of freedom. Are they even called wings of freedom? I would like to know that real quick. Hold on, just a sec. Oh, and right yesterday I got also from the grinding this new wind glider. Wings of golden flight. Wings of azure, Asia wind. Wings of Asia wind. Why don't you call it wings of freedom? Because monster is the city of freedom because then it would be the wings of freedom like the wings of freedom from the scouts from from how is it called again from aot attack on titan then it would be the flügel der freiheit okay first of all what are you reading hui shan hall warning sign key side bedrock key up ahead no unauthorized access those who damage the structure will invite the personal wrath of the cheesing. If you have any questions, direct uh, direct to them to specialist mooning at the campsite. I see. Then look for Chicho. Hello, how are you doing? 
Ah, it's you. Oh, hold on. What? Ah, it's you. Hello there. Mooning, Mooning was the one who introduced me. This is his... Yes, yes. Forgot that sheet of paper. I already know who you are. I already, I already know who you are just fine. That Mooning, all he does is put on airs and write papers. Everything's gotta follow this or that procedure and all that tribe. You know, stuff that makes you look important. I couldn't care less for that stuff. In any case, your name is already well known throughout the Adventurers Guild. Never mind any of your others' contributions to Liyue. Uh, well, this is me we're talking about. <laughs> the arrogant speech, okay. Bro, what is this? Holding your hands? Never mind. That's right, we are looking... We are the legendary duo. Jingao and Paimon. Um. Okay. Uh, I mean... I mean, you had that great battle with the sea monster on the Jade Chamber. Now, I wasn't there to witness the event, mind you, but I haven't missed a single telling of that story. Um, okay, cool. Huh, so there's... so there are stories about us, too. Okay, of course, they are very pop... they are very popular in the city, you know? If you ask me, I'd say the Tea Master Liu Su and I... and Iron Tang Tian are both good on their own way, but I just prefer iron. <coughs> what? Why? I'm not familiar with the storytelling tradition, but okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I get it. I get it. Iron Tongue Tian's style is definitely not for everyone. I do sometimes find that his choice of words and phrases feature too much slang. But as for Liu, Sh Liu Su, um, he takes a while to get going, you know? Sometimes you're there for two hours before you start going. Oh, hey, this is pretty good. Until... Oh, hold on. I have to pronounce it differently. Sometimes you are there for two hours before you start going, oh, hey, this is pretty good. Some people like that style, but I find it uninteresting. And if you mean to say that this is just a story, I won't get stale, let me just say this. If this were food or drink we were talking about, it would surely go bad if we wrapped it up and covered it for half a day without opening it up. I think I said that I wasn't all that interested in storytelling. No, I didn't say that. I'm just going to continue coughing. <coughs> oh, are you alright? Something wrong with your throat? Um, no, no, it's probably just a case of too much information. Uh, uh, um, sorry, I get a bit too excited there. I didn't call... I didn't really consider if you were interested in what I was saying. <laughs> Are those, like, supposed to be be soldiers who want something from you or so? I don't know, like, in this game. Never mind. So, since you are here, Tingao, you are here at the Chi Sing's behest. Did Mooning end up revealing some of the information to you? Um, you know, like... Don't touch the bedrock keys! There's nothing under the chasm! Chi Chong won't help you! You know, stuff like that, repeated over and over. Mooning did indeed tell us all that. And I'd say he didn't just say it once, but okay. Ha! Well, he didn't scare us! <laughs> indeed, he wasn't doing that at all. Eh? So all the things he mentioned are true? <coughs> well, Mooning is in the end a specialist hired by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Even if he wanted to ask for help, there's a lot that he's not allowed to reveal in public. So he can only warn us and thus impart the meanings the means of getting into the ch chasm to you in a roundabout way. In essence, when he says you shouldn't, he really means that you can. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. What a weird guy. Yeah, I'd say so as well. In any case, you also mentioned that he wrote you a certification and told you to f come find me. That note which you now carry means that you have the authorization to travel along the chasm without any obstruction. Of course, bearing any personal invention by the cheesing intervention. And the fact that he suggests that you find me means that I should tell you the way into the depth of the chasm. Okay. Eh? That mooning... Oh, what a convoluted way of hinting. I had... No clue what convoluted means, but okay. <laughs> well, for that it's worth. I apologize for all the covering up that we are doing, but trust me, we have a very good. We have very good reasons for doing so. By the way, why do those people all have to? Why do those NPCs all have to be female characters? I mean, like, I get it. It's a 
an anime game made for weeps, for virgins, whatever. <laughs> and there have to be bee shoujos and girls and stuff like that. But dude, if I'm trying to read all of that in a, in a slightly high, higher pitched voice, it just kills my voice, man. Actually, was it even a bit higher that I read it? At least I felt like it. Never mind. <laughs> While the thing that they dug up under the chasm is truly abnormal, our investigations cannot be done with too much pomp and ceremony, lest the people to be alarmed. This is the teasing standing order. As such, we can only function under the cover of no entry order, so secretly gathering explorers and scholars to enter the chasm and conduct investigations. This is all too, if necessary and where possible, staff of the crisis that festers beneath the earth. So all the people at the encampment were... That's right, they were all brought and on as support staff. They are all pretty reliable. Uh, well, mostly. Well, that sounds nice and... Uh, never mind. That you can came here is also no coincidence. More than one big shot in the teasing has already recommended that we enlisted your aid. And honestly, we've little reason not to comply. In any case, it's also said that your aid is not necessarily difficult to enlist. Eh? Doesn't that mean that we were tricked? Well, Paimon, time to leave. Hmm, that's right. Don't you treat us like a bunch of idiots. Uh, please wait. I was just passing on my superior's message. Those were her words, not mine. Just uh, let me take those words back, alright? Bye. <laughs> what? Come now, this is the chief thing we're talking about. They won't shortchange you for your aid. It's not as if I'm short on Mora or anything, I'm like, I, I do have almost 7 million Mora, I'm rich, baby. I have the money, you know? I do have the money. <sighs> Paimon, Paimon too! Well, that said, having more Mora isn't a bad thing. <clears throat> well, if you could mitigate the safety hazards in the chasm, any underground treasures are valuable, or valuables will be given to the one who discovers them. This is a special privilege given by the teasing, just to, just to the two of you. Really? No tricks now? Okay, no, no, now my voice was a bit too high, now it was a voice crack, never mind. Well, in that case... And Paimon's treasure time begins once again, yeah, I need to say that. Hold on, I have to say that again, now. And once again... No, hold. And Paimon's treasure time begins once again, yeah. Paimon and her treasures, um... Hold on, can I like... Zoom in a bit? No, I can't. Paimon. <laughs> okay, now, let's go. Well, you see, the cannon is such a big place. Just imagine how much treasures there's going to be for our taking. <laughs> alright, alright. We can safely say that you've accepted this commission, then. Alright, I'll do it for you, Paimon. I'll, we'll do it for the treasure. I, okay, I'll do it for you, Paimon. That sounds maybe a bit less greedy. <laughs> That's right. Alright, let me apologize for wasting your time and all these other things. Let's get down to the business, shall we? If we wish to enter the chasm, we first need to find an adjuvant made from a material f known as Lumenstone. Only with it we can move in the dark down there. Only those with visions can use the adjuvant, but considering that you can use elemental energy without a vision, it's my guess that you should have no problems making use of the adjuvant. So, where do we find this thing? Actually, I know that. I actually do know that. It's in the warehouse of the south. The warehouse is well guarded, so, it's, so it should be pretty secure. Just can't come back once you've gotten a hold of the catalyst. Oh, hold on, what? No? Okay, no, then maybe I... Okay, maybe I got... I got that... Um, I'll call it again. Got that confused with another material that you can find here in this... in the chasm. So, um... Here it is. Service so sends a uh, fan of the treasure hoarders. Seriously? Treasure hoarders? Rain outlines your fate. Is it even worth using and then you burst? You know what I'm just going to do. Oh crap! We have been discovered! Says the, says the treasure hoarder. I see. Ouch. Hey! Okay, now the last one here. Oh, uh, didn't that Clitophos guy said that there was no standing guard? Said the treasure hoarders. Well, I also ain't a guard. I ain't a guard. I'm just someone who's passing around and then investigate. Time to act. Hold on, what is it? 
this this should be the thing she uh, was talking about right let's take it with us Lumenstone. investigate actually i can investigate a lot of things here hey iron trunks nice uh Lumenstone. a special stone mined from the depths of the chasm it is said that it has catalytic properties it almost blazes with light in the gloomy mines but it loses all such effects the moment one leaves the chasm it seems to have other unique properties as well that have yet to be discovered i see investigate here and some more ores. and this is ah this is just maybe 10 to 20k mora please when a guy um i didn't even see how much more that was scan and why is there a cryo a, a hydro slime in a well i'm like seriously no i'm Okay, the slime's dead now anyways. Um, tell Chi Chung about what happened in the warehouse. Okay, will do. No. Hold on just a second, Lumen Stone. I've just one question, wasn't there like also this other kind of stone around here in, in the map? Maybe up there? I mean like, I did see something on my first account when I was wandering around this place here. And I'm actually quite intrigued right now what the difference is because I think that I've heard this name. That's also why I got things confused here. Um, I don't even know where it is exactly, but I just know the just like where it is about, like where it might be that kind of ore. Mm. Yeah, my stamina is still not that great. Even after having leveled up that statue of seven five times. I still have rather crap. Um how do I call it again? Rather a crap. Um Dude, I've forgotten the name of it. Um a crap stamina. Yeah, these things, okay. Nice. I think it was I think it was some around. Hold on. Where even is that then? Didn't I see that somewhere around here? Or am I being dumb right now? Oh, but I do know that there is this kind of like ore somewhere around here, this place. That is also. That I think has a similar name or the same name. I don't know. Adventure time. I'm just going to have to look it up real quick. Because I do know where one of those is, Off we go. for sure now. That yeah, would be right next to this weird thing here. You can see this ore here, this is what I'm talking about. This is not... Um, this is not Noctilucus Jade, this is, this is something else. Let's Dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. He's just... He wasn't doing anything. Oh. Dude, yeah. can I also like, storm attack please? Because if I can't stomp attack, then mining ores will be annoying. Could, look, archaic stone. Archaic stone. And lumens. Oh, oh, okay, there is a difference. A strange rare ore that is that was mined from the cavern. These rocks can only be found in the ore veins of the oldest mountains. It is so rare that most merchants have probably never heard of it. However, the changes in the cavern have led to the emergence of much low quality archaic stone effect that has given the merchants of Huishan Hall quite the headache. I see. Anyways, now I know the difference. I thought it was the same thing, but yeah, maybe I'm just being dumb as always. But I don't think that this is any news so yeah then hello Jicho. I, I still don't know how to pronounce your name if it's not said in the game already it's a Jicho. i'm just going to call you Jicho. okay hello Jicho. now we're back you big liar eh me what happened uh, there were even treasure hoarders over there and even and even they were wondering why no one was guarding this place. Huh? That shouldn't be the case. When I was guarding the place, the treasure hoarders wouldn't even dare come near it. Wait a moment, you did say that... Say... Who did say... What? 
Who did you say was guarding the warehouse again? Uh, me? Well, are you guarding it right now? Because I'm seeing you here right now. Well, come on now. Which adventurer on their right mind would let themselves get tired, tied down with such a boring task? Am I right? Well, ha. Huh. Um, ah, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, well, putting your dure dereliction of duty to one side for the time being. R right. Um, mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm not too sure about how the bedrock oh what how the bedrock keys work, but you could start from looking into those cage sh shaped geo elements from f uh, from formations over there. What is that? These strange formations have been putting the Ministry of Civil Affairs for some time now. They seem to have grown up from the bedrock of the chasm over the last two years, and their properties are very similar to those of the thing underground. Why are we always saying thing? I don't know what that thing is. We say this because they can undergo some kind of disintegration when under the influence of the anomalies. Anomalies, I mean. Later, Huishan Hall's investigations revealed that they have been absorbing geo-elemental energy from the surroundings, slowly eroding the structure of the bedrock keys. It is almost ominous. It is a most ominous phenomenon, almost like something is, is consciously trying to break the ceiling array. We have to clear the, them out twice every month. But they will always grow back quickly, and they have only grown back quicker over time. Perhaps that thing below is growing restless, and that is why the cheesing have sent us to investigate. Oh, okay. Then look for a way to destroy the bedrock key. Dude, how am I supposed to know? Do I have to use like this or what? Those things here? And then insert it here. Yes! <laughs> well, as for now, we should remove the bedrock key here. Why does it fu function now? We should try hitting these formations and use the shots they release to affect the bedrock keys, perhaps. Oh, hold on. Ah, right. You can do it like this, you mean? <laughs> well, as for now, we should remove the bedrock key here. Why would... We could try... Oh, you've already said that. Okay. All right. Why didn't it work when I was not in the world quest? Okay, now it does make sense because it belongs to a quest. But still though, come on. I was doing exactly this thing during the quest. During my exploration of this. Of the... Uh, how do you call it again? I was doing this while I was still exploring... Uh, what? What was... Huh? Oh, this one is getting erased. <gasps> oh! Oh wow, cool. That's nice. Well, that should do it. Um, yeah. I mean, like, it didn't work when I was expla exploring the chasm earlier, but yeah, now here are the are the keys. Nice. You can attack with them, right? Oh, there's actually a seal on them as well. That's good, good to know. But I have no clue what the seal says. It's Chinese, probably. No, never mind. Actually, is it? Maybe? Maybe it looks Chinese to me, but it's not like I can read Chinese, so I can't tell if that is actually a, s a Chinese character that exists or not. Anyways, hello, Jiqiu, I'm back. Huh, you should destroy, I mean, undid. Huh, you destroy, I mean, undid the bindings of the bedrock. He's so easy. Guess we were right to put our faith in you, too. It's not like it was hard at all or anything. Okay, I'm quite sure we just damaged public property. <laughs> Uh, Mooning has already sent a damage report ahead of us, so technically the bedrock keys were damaged before we arrived, not after. Well, that leaves four more than that we need to handle. Ah yes, I've drawn a basic diagram that shows where three of the four are. I hope it'll be of use to you. As for the last one, honestly, I'm not very sure whether that was anymore. After the miners were dismissed, there was there was a sea page incident in that mine, causing the cylinder to be submerged under the water. <laughs> this face here. Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> but it looks funny. <laughs> In any case, just settle the order three side. Settle the order, th the other three sides. We meet up after that, and I think about what to do next. Next, not coming along with us. No, this time I mean I was originally assigned to guard the warehouse, 
but thanks to my slip up I nearly let the treasure hoarders in there. Honestly I'm already in your debt for not reporting my error. Things could get bad if Mooning catches me and puts me off on the trail of some errands again, so I just send guard as I should for now. Still, I believe that this riddle will be no match for the two of you at all. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm like, bedrock diagram, I mean, yeah, I can see where those are. Well then, let's go to those places. The first one is here. Isn't that the one that, uh, that I just went to? The one of the keys? Okay, let's see real quick. Dude, my I think my right hand is a bit um betoyed. What does that mean again? Not betoyed or or gland in English, what does that mean? Like it does feel a bit like I can't move it anymore. Never mind. Then here this one is this is one of the keys. Here's one of those keys. Let's blow it up! Yeah, I have to get an even higher voice for a time when I forgot. She's not just a female, but she's also a female with a pitched voice or something. I have no clue who the hell was the who is the voice actor for Paimon. I mean, like seriously, like that voice is just insanely high. Paimon remembers Shivong says to hit this weird cage cage thingy so it will release some fragments to hit it. Yeah, and. Um, and how am I supposed? Ah, right. I first have to activate those other ones, since they can only hit things in a vertical line. Well then, I'd say I have to look for the next ones. There is one up there. Okay. And this will be the next one. I oh come on, come on. I also know what those things are. <laughs> okay, I think this one can hit, right? Yes. This one hit. And the next one would be, actually, ah yes, this one also breaks after having hit that one thing there. Hold on, wasn't there like, ah right, here it is. And here's one, um, hitting it, and it hits. Is there another one of those cage thingies, or is this the last one? This here, I mean. I mean, I think this is the last one, right? Should be. Yes, it is. Oh, another one is now disappearing one of those tracks, right? Two. Oh. It's gone. Paimon wonders how these cage-shaped objects and the Lumen Stone are related. Um, yeah, I don't know myself. So yeah, no clue. Um, okay, next location. Here's one. I think I'm just going to go to the Statue of Seven, not this one, because else I would have to climb up here, and I think climbing up was even less effe efficient than going from the Statue of Seven, so I'm just going to use the set Statue of Seven. Was I maybe talking a bit too fast, just like now? Probably. But if I talk too slowly, then I sometimes even forget what I was going to say, and then it's bad. So, um, two more things to go. Let's go. There's a... That's a Qing Qing or Qing Xing here, yeah. Weird names. <laughs> okay, so this one, how, how far away is this one? 300 meters, okay. Oh, it's it's this close. And what is this down there? Why is it so low? Here, over here! Okay. Um, there's one of those things here. I don't even know how those things are called again, those bars. Hold on, one high... high Plunge effect can already... Okay, I have a question. Yeah, Paimon's just saying the same things now, again. How much damage does it deal to a Hillitrel? Can't even hit a Hillitrel. I don't think it can. Well, I was thinking that it would have been cool if, it would, if I was able to hit a Hillitrel with this. So they could see how much damage it dealt, but apparently you can't. Which I find re is really uncool. Like, I can't, right? Yeah, it's just flying into a different direction. Wow. 
And you, you healer shots are a bit annoying, you know? Can I like maybe shoot them down or something? Ouch. Ah, that's too many of them to just kill them like this. It would just be too annoying and take too long. Ouch. Well then, I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, hold on, can't even hit because it's too low, I see. Well then, it looks like you are actually going to die now, you two ugly hilly trolls. Please, just go away, I don't like you. Okay, um... Hold on, you can walk there? Ah, right, there was like a small path. Oh... No! Oh, hey. I survived. You survived. Is what Palpatine would have said. Hello. You're already quite low on HP. Ouch. Would you like to get a headshot? And after that, getting burned? Sure you want to, right? Ah. And a stomp. Now you should die. Thanks. Finally, it took way too long. Is there not like... Ah, right, here's more. Can I like... Is it actually that if you do a high plunge that will just get destroyed like that? Yes, it will. I always thought you, that a high plunge, even a high plunge would be enough to destroy those forests, but apparently it is. Well, in that case, that's nice. Now I can hit it once more with these act. things here. Can I also just use a bow? No, I can't. <laughs> well, here it is. Hello, please don't hit me. Ah, die. 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 Huh. That's nice. Dude, how long is he going to fall? Long enough. Oh! What? Huh? Why did I fall down? Oh, come on. Why are you doing this to me? Well, never mind. Hello. The last one now, I think. No, is it the last one? Yes, it is. Oh, and now, where is it? Oh, here it is. Disappearing from. I see. That's, that's efficient instruction. And whoops. We've... What? Never mind. There's a cage shaped object to the. Okay, so then. I'm just going to mine one more of those archaic stones if I find them on my way. So that I just have them. It still looks like there's still one left, but you can collect it. There's so many ores here. It's insane. White iron chunks. There's a lot of. Go a lot of mora here. 500 mora? No, two geosigils, 500 more now, and 1000 more, two geosigils and 1000 more again. There's even a CD here, you know what, I'm just going to follow that CD here. Hello CD. Oh, there are slimes. I don't care about fighting slimes, I just want to follow the CD. It's going to the into the correct direction anyways. Hey, that hurt. Dude. Try doing this again and you're going to die. Yeah, I told you that you were going to die. Okay, a chest has been unlocked. It's a comm chest, wow. Now that's what I call treasure. No, not really. But at least I got two primogems from it. Not that it really changes my primogem count of 17,800. But yeah, never mind. What is, what is this? What was that? Hold on. What were those things? <coughs> oh, oh damn, I ha oh my god. I had to cough real bad right now. Is it possible that I had too little to drink today? Probably, I didn't drink that much today. I usually drink a lot more at now talking this much without Adventure having time. drinking anything. Uh, oh no, Dreamwork you motherfucking <laughs> son of a bitch! Hey, came back. I'm going in. Let me leave you a verse. 
You know what? No mercy. No mercy. No, my sword. The inventory burst is too strong. I just can't read. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to use my inventory burst. It was too strong. Ha. And where are those things now? Oh, they must be a bit lower than. Here's one. I can remember this. This is the first time I saw those things here. And it's too low, this one is too low. Oh hey, there's another one of those A stones, I've forgotten how they're called again, those. And there are two crystal flies here. Three crystal flies, I'm going to take those. Then... Again... Archaic stones are they called, okay. Then, um... Where's... The, oh, there's one of those cages again. Body and mind. Ah, and here's also this kind of stone that I need to destroy those things here. And yeah, there's also a platform here, perfect. Okay, this one was, was the first stone that I need to hit, and the second one is there. Okay, that's that's nice. Then I'd say, come down here, platform. Oh, it is down. <laughs> and now... Hit the cage thingy. Nice. Hello. Can I climb on it? I can. What? Huh? It still has to get hit one more time? But from where? There's one more of... Huh? Huh? Where? Hold on. Hold on. Um. Huh? Oh, there is one of those. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Oh, hey, there's an exquisite chest. Treasure hunting. A valiant endeavor. And I'm supposed to use that thing but it's way too low are you kidding me that doesn't even work this, oh huh, this place has been taken over by treasure hoarders who's there everyone we are under attack defend the workshop okay I'm not really interested in that but dude huh I'm like nah that can't be the right thing right it's it's way too high up I'm like Time to act. Hold on, just let me test that out real quick. Huh? It actually does work like this? Why? Before that it was always just going vertically, but I mean okay. I mean horizontally, not vertically. Okay, now the last this one has to be Hmm, looks like we are all done and dude. How, how dare you do this while I'm trapped in that animation. I hate you. Die. What do you mean with off with you? Go away. Nope. Die. Oh, they don't even drop anything, right? You even worth killing them, man? I know. I was going to do it anyway. Ouch. Just die, Mr. Hydro Man. Yeah, they don't even drop anything, but never mind. I'm just going to kill them anyway. I somehow have to get my mental burst back. So that is what's going to happen. <laughs> it's like thrown away. Hello. Um. Huh? 
stop, please stop, let us explain. Wow, that's now also another world quest. Why? Aren't you guys around a bunch of treasure hoarders? Just turn yourselves in, there's nothing to explain around here. Millet squad leader Jan Bu of the Chasm District. Chasm District, at your service, it's an honor to meet you. Tino. And your most eminent flying companion. <laughs> hey, 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 it's Paimon, not to you, mister. Ah, uh, I apologize. I'm very sorry, but I think there's been a small misunderstanding here. So, you're not treasure hoarders? Then why are you freaking clothes? Why are you freaking wearing those clothes? Well, no, just the opposite. Um, well, and you're not wrong to say that this area was indeed one of the treasure hoarders' lairs. After the works, we were dismissed, those weasels wormed their way in here. At first, they were just mining, smuggling some glazed sand crystal and playing hide and seek with our patrols. But they would grow bolder as time went on, even breaking into and equipping the old warehouse that the miners left behind. They even used the tools here to make their own cheap little trinkets to sell. <sighs> breaks my heart every time. What breaks your heart? Such rough hewn trinkets can only be used to cheat first time visitors to Liu or some ivory tower scholars and I'll bet that they'll try to get them on the market using lower prices too, perhaps even try undermining some legitimate brands. It's not like they're like they've got any brand power themselves, right? That's true, I suppose it's a joke in poor taste to think that they'd make a good more of it. Thanks that's why we came here to take care of the treasure hoarders who originally held us a position before discussing Disguising ourselves as them and lying in wait. Well, that was a while back now. We had managed to ascertain thus far to one of the leaders in the contract with the branch of the Fatui that they may be that may be preparing a transaction involving dangerous items. About the dangerous items. My contract says that those Fatui have exchanged a large amount of moral materials for something the treasure hoarders have. But all he discovered was food and daily necessities necessities, which we fear might just be a ruse. Whatever the case, we were fully prepared for an all-out assault. We just needed to catch them all on a fell swoop and then we'd have known what they were up to. And that's when we arrived. Uh, I mean, we knew that you were good, but we didn't think that you were this good. We were pretty much incapac incapacitated about half the people under my com command. Of course we were here for another reason. This is why one of the bedrock keys that hold up the seven star rays is located. We couldn't allow to that to fall into the treasure hoarder's hands. Um, sorry. <laughs> ah, it's not that big an issue. It was partly our fault for not recognizing you anyway. In order to came, an order came down that we were to let you pass, but we never expected you to get here this quickly. Wow, this guy is pretty easy going, huh? Does this mean we can't leave? Okay, now the voice was a bit too deep. Uh, so you just, so just because I don't blame you doesn't mean that Lewis Laws won't. <laughs> Sorry about that. Eh? What? <laughs> it must have sounded so disgustingly ugly. Finish your sentence next time, will you? Hmm, let me see. Battery and assault, obstruction the middle in their duties, attempting to destroy the seven star array, and damaging premises. Even with the middle of consideration, congratulations, you will be offered food and board in Louis for an extra 5 to 10 years. Eh. Uh, eh? Do I get a lawyer? Can I get, like, Yanfei, please? That's right, give us a name list! <clears throat> but, uh, please let me finish. However, if law-abiding citizens are outlanders, guests might use legal means to assist the middle earth on their duties. They can gain the reward and compensation due to them. This too is a law of this land. So don't worry, that fight previously was not utterly in vain. So what do we get from helping you? Uh, from helping you? Because I'm still in another mission, you know? Well, the stolen goods should not be casually moved, but if you are willing to aid us, any items that you may coincidentally find along the way, for example, a treasure hoarder's secret stash or something you used to do with as you please, uh, or something is yours to do with, okay. We also have some more on us, which I hope you won't mind having. It's not a lot, but we weren't counting on needing outside help like this either. So, that means that... Hold on. So, that means no jail time and treasure to be had. Is that right? Yes. Nice. 
All right, then you've got yourself a deal, mister. Let the way. One moment here. All right, you won't be reserved now. I'm going to head to your redemptions. Redemptions point to await further orders. Catch up soon or we'll act first. Okay, come on, let's follow them. Hey, I, I, I don't I get a saying in this? Come on, we're assisting with official duties, you know? And there's Mora to be ahead, too. Damn, come on. Look, look at my Mora account. Look at my Mora account. You see this? 6.8 million. How much more do you still want to gain? Like, it's not like I need any more, okay? Just leave me out of this. What is this now? I mean, those are two different cabinet stores. The art of cooking, shine up your furrows, the cheer. Hold on, which one is it, anyways? Perfect shot, low temperature, warning. Eris has a warning for you regarding dragon, huh? Hold on, does it belong to the same? Huh? Hold on, are you telling me that is. Report the destruction of the bedrock keys to Ji Chiong. Wish to the cat. Huh? Hold on. Commission circus? Alright, that's still this one thing. So, it, oh, it, belo it actually does belong to the to the world quest because I didn't I didn't look at the quest, so I didn't know that I had to actually do so. Or is it? Is it now the thing that you does it belong to this world quest now? I think so. I'm not quite sure about it as well. Anyway, hello, Ji Chong. How are you doing? We're back! The three bedrock keys have all been destroyed! Shh! What's up all of a sudden? What happened? <laughs> Don't start, it's nothing much, just the earth shaking, that's all. Perhaps the mountain rocks are being re destabled by the loosening of the seal. Do you feel it? Not at all! You fly, so of course you don't! Huh? That's a good point. I guess it's just a minor instinct if you grew up in the mine since you were young. You'd know a thing or two about the language of the stones. Wait, watch out! Whoa, the ground is really shaking. Paimon's having trouble standing straight. Bro, you aren't even standing. You are flying. You don't stand at all. <laughs> How does that even happen to you, Paimon? Ah, uh, the shaking stopped. Phew. No, hold on. Phew, looks like it's over for now. Thankfully, we're above ground. If we were in the mines when this earth earthquake happened, Hopefully Mooning and the others don't blame this on us. But now the ceiling erased power has been greatly decreased. We just need to deal with that last bedrock. Let's go. Okay. Look for the final bedrock key. Will do. Hold on, can I just teleport to it? Yeah, it's 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 near the view statue of seven. Hold on, right, I think I can't even remember now that there was one here. Or actually, no, maybe I don't remember. Hey, there's another crystal file. It's down there. Hold on, do I know this one? Okay, no, I actually don't know about this one then, I think. There's a chest here and there, yeah, okay. I just stumped from the wrong path. Can I like, still maybe reach this chest? Because I would like to unlock that chest real quick now. Oh, come on. Okay, never mind this then. There's also another one of those... Oh, it's down there. Is it really this though? Seeking... Seeking of which the old miners used to call these pests. So just... Uh, Adaka, what's that? Oh, Paimon knows! I mean, it's Adaka. I didn't, I didn't even get to read everything. There must be some plum giant bird beneath this mountain who snorts the cause of the war. Well, that's not quite right, but it's but it isn't far off either. Uh, what? Really? Adaka was was a king who ruled the Tanchu Valley in ancient times ago. It is said that it was defeated here by the Lord of Jesus, Marshal Masri, and somewhere in the. Come on! I don't have enough time to read that out loud. Dude, give me at least some time. Another one of those. Um, look for the final bedrock key. Okay, maybe I don't know where the final bedrock key is then. Here maybe? Down here? 
Hold on. Since when? The, destroy the final battery. Since when is... Huh? Last time I was here, there was still a lake down here, which was blocking you from going down here. Ah, right. That's also what she was talking about. There was a cave. There was a lake, which was blocking it. Uh, okay, now it does make sense. I'm just too, too dumb to realize it. Destroy the, destroy the final bedrock key. Why is it saying that I have to go to this area if it's outside of this area? Ah, never mind. It's not like it's anything. Okay, destroy it now. Of course. Then which one will I have to hit next? Hold on. Careful, looks like some monsters are dropping down from above us. What? Is it? Okay. Everybody I mean, like, you may do as you her. please, but I don't think that... I don't really think that fighting me is the smartest yeah, choice of action, whatever. Well, the first one's already dead. I mean, like, here, Geo Bishop, you're getting what you deserve. And that would be death, by the way. Off we go. Oh, that's, that's already dead. Damn. Even more monsters are coming. Mind your head. Okay. I can just use Quad Elemental Burst again. Let's light it up. No, my sword. I even doubt that I'm going to be able to, re to recharge all my oh, Elemental Burst. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely not able to do so. How am I? Come on. Oh, hold on one second right now. Someone's calling me. Oh, my brother was just calling me for to ask where my parents are because he can't reach them with the call. But yeah, that's because that's because um, they are currently at their how do you call it again? Because my mother's currently at her badminton uh, training and my father's at his uh, ping pong training or how you call it. You know what I mean. And hey, now this one has been sunken as well and now the last li uh, lines here are going to get erased nice oh and oh, hold on hold on the seal is getting broke what what very impressive that should be the last one with this the array sealing the chasm has dis dissipated and we can explore the area underground that said we should probably go and pay mooning a v visit first Hmm, not that he's going to do anything about that Skodas though, other than Skodas though. Um, you follow Ji Chung back to the camp. Hold on, I was still going to explore the map a bit. I thought that... Man, what a scam. See, what did I say? You weren't guarding the warehouse as you should have at all. You've already done it this time, Ji Chung. You, no, you've really done it this time, Ji Chung. How are we going to resolve this matter, huh? Are you going to take responsibility for undoing that array of your own accord? Can you? Ah, you, you are here. Ah. So how are you going to explain destroying the bedrock keys? If you really wanted to stop me, you'd have chased me off some time ago now. You'd have chased me off. Ah. Uh, you, uh, all right, you're taking responsibility for this. As for the rest, we'll take, we wait for the cheating to make their judgment first. <laughs> don't worry, Mooney always gets mad at people who don't care otherwise. He's just a war reward, not a bad person. Well, let's leave this, can, this crappy temper aside first. 
once you're ready crappy you're not supposed you can't write crappy in the chat by the way that gets censored in genshin impact but but G G Kyung can say crappy that's a scam no I once you're ready i round everything up to follow you down to the mines our purpose this time is to reach the deepest level of the chasms map map it and hold on our, cur our purpose this time is to reach the deepest level of the chasm. Map it and uh, investigate the source of the anomalies. Ah yes, I almost forgot. Welcome to the chasm exploration team. If you allow me a bit of your time, let me introduce you to the team. This is Kadev, a scout up specifically called from the Sumeru. His, sp his specialties are ores and biology. He's this exploration's team leading man. Well, in scientific and financial matters at least. This is Jin Wu. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Jin Wu or Jin Wu from Solo Leveling, the main character. This is Jin Wu, who is in charge of safety. The repair and maintenance of any facilities were used and our security is ensured by her. And this is Taliesin. He's a bard from Monset and goodness knows why he insisted on coming down on here with us. He just wanted to sing while hearing his own echo, I know that. <laughs> JK. Also, perhaps you discover new allies once you get down into the mines, eh? Haha, <laughs> who knows? And last but not least, you have me, the super hands-on survey surveyor. My job is to help scout the way forward and draw maps, which I share with you all, of course. Well, please head over to the crane by the mines once you're ready. Originally, it was meant for to transport goods, but can also bring a few people up and down the mines, no problem. Hmm, that said, since you have your own wind glider, I suppose that you'd be fine even without the crane, eh? Yes, probably. When the seal is broken, quest completed. Chasm sprung, enter the mine to the chasm. Is this now the world quest still? It's still the world quest? Seriously? Go to challenge. Uh, what? Okay, I see. But it's still the word quest, right? I hope so, at least. But before I go there, I first want to um, make sure of something. Because, I mean... Hold on. I want to know, there was, there was something more to it later on. And I would like to see, like, from where I was. I would like to see what that was exactly. So, um, I think I should just go up here, continue walking this path, and now I should be at the place I was before, right? I mean, here's the time challenge, here's the thing that would usually be a lake, or was a lake before and is now not anymore. And last but not least, there was this stone here. Here, as you can see it. I think this cave continued here, right? Ah, it does. Oh, this is not a cave anymore? Oh, so you could have just entered it from here. I see, investigate. Much more? 10k, nice. Oh, oh, so that's what it is. I thought that was that this cave was still going to continue, but looks like that was it. Why didn't we just take this open then? I'm mean, like, this would have been way easier than to take that other way. Actually, it was okay. Maybe, maybe both. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think that one would have been a bit more efficient. Anyways, actually, I'm already here perfectly at this place, and then I'd say, let's go to this seal. I mean, let's see what happens now. Actually, I think I'm just going to end the video here so that I have one hour and that's enough. I think, yeah, I've, I've broken the barrier now and I think in the next video I'm just going to actually go down here. No! No! Okay then. <laughs> I'm just going to end like this because I want to split this into two parts of videos because maybe the second part is going to be rather crappy or something. I think that's enough just now and thanks for watching. Not that anyone watched, but anyways, that's it with this video and I've... Um, broken the seal and now we can go to the deepest parts of the chasm. Let's, yeah, that's it now and bye.